come on. Onya, this man has been missing. Oh. Uh, very active in Buhari's government. But to reason this government, he, 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 he fool. Because I'm asking question. Where is Rafa Rebashola? Where is Rafa Rebashola? Where is Rafa? Where is Rafa? Rafa, where are you? I'm be, people have been asking this question. So we declared him missing. <laughs> I am a Kwanaonia Kanoya. See, if he still talk. Because not them now. <laughs> he was the Minister of Interior. Abi? Eh, hey, yes. With the Tunubu government. After he served as governor of Washington State. Now all of them pilotos enter where we know now. Where we know no. Or where we did now. Where this government now. The Tunubu government they use as an excuse. Hey, we inherited a bad government. As if say no be the same APC, APC. Rafi follow. Now all of them run out. So we come to say this guy will be an active voice in another APC government of Tunubu. The guy lost. A person like Yoruba man. We know him. All of a sudden now. He has resurfaced. Because I think this should be the first time on you walk that he's talking since Tunubu came into power. And he said some things. I'm going to make you watch this video, I beg. You don't need to be a nuclear scientist to know that things are progressively getting bad. How? Smaller percentage of Nigerians are, are, are now prosperous. It's not that there, no, there is no prosperity, but it's getting to, it's, it's reducing and reducing. And when, when I was born, and at my development, all the things were development, wealth was not as limited to a few number of Nigerians as it is today. And that, what does that signify? It tells us that we are in deep, we are in a deep problem. You see, as to Physical sciences are very exact, but social sciences reflect the condition of the people, and that's why it's not exact. So, we will not be here discussing this if things are normal in Nigeria. We know, even those who have extremely limited today know that things are not normal. And in addressing it, I was have concerned, I will, be, I, I will not be as rigid as the, as a, uh, Dr. Bugaji, that uh, look uh, for for rhetoric, for political correctness. Yes, you can say homegrown. The human beings are the same everywhere. Hunger is hunger. Poverty is poverty. So, a bad system is a bad system. Whatever does not give the appropriate uh, opportunity or, or right to people will be resisted. No matter what you do to, to prevent it. He, he mentioned that uh, he mentioned military rule, he mentioned political system, he, he failed to mention revolution. That look, if all of that things fail, there could be people can revolt. So if you are conscious of all of this and we know the consequences of things getting out of hand, it will interest us to see how best to govern ourselves to ensure that our people, and you said it in person, that. The primary responsibility of every government is the welfare and security of the people. When those two things can no longer be guaranteed, forget it. There can be a stable society. However, please let me let me, let me conclude. I know I'm taking time. I I have looked at I've, I've, I've studied the issue of Nigeria. How we even came into existence as separate kingdoms, communities and whatever, if we don't want to relapse into actually what led us into being colonized in the first instance, because some people want to overlook that. That was a weakness that led to a colonialism. It was a weakness. I, 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 don't, I don't want to go to that, 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 that issue. If you are strong enough, we will never have been colonized. So we are not strong enough, and that was, and that was what led to our own being dominated our, our by others. And part of it is the tyranny of these individual dictators that 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 were rulers. If you go on believing that a man, a person, no matter how beautiful, no matter how good, who have the capacity to go after 20 million people all alone. 
without shirts, we are joking. So, but by that consideration alone, I am opposed to executive system of government. I believe a collective arrangement which parliamentary system uh, guarantees is best for a nation like Nigeria. If indeed we are committed to advancing the interests of the large population and mass of our people. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Hey! Rafa one Nari Bashala. Okay, let's take what he said one after the other. He said things are going south. Uh, that the way things are going in Nigeria. Say revolution is on the way. Eh? Okay, when you guys were dealing with us with that uh, Buhari government, okay, you did not see any revolution forthcoming. Okay, now now you see say a revolution is possible in Nigeria. Nice one. That's an eye opener. Okay, now now they tell us a revolution is coming. Say Tinobu is not doing well. Now this government has pocketed everybody. That during the time holding this uh, our forefathers uh, before now. Say riches he go round, but now the riches of this country is just in the hands of a minority few, and others have been thrown into abject poverty. Okay, now now you know. Okay, during the time of Buhari. People were not in abject poverty. Because a Tinobu government is just an extension of a Buhari government. Rafu! Look at these people. Eh? Hey! 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 This is why you are coming out to talk. And you want to gather the. You want to see whether you can have some followers. Now, all of you now destroy this country now. Rafu, are we so? Minister of Interior, uh, Buhari government for eight years. Advice now, this advice and I'll give it to the government. Did you ever give it to Buhari when he was destroying the country? Packing money everywhere, depleted our foreign reserve. Was still borrowing money even a few days before he left office to settle all of them and then go on a la vida. <laughs> Did you say anything? He put anything. Now you all of us, all of a sudden, your voice has come out. You have regained your voice to talk. Ngwa, akwa your brother no there. Tell me your brother. He cried in Miloko, in Miloko. You're a local, you're a local. I'm not a Yoruba man. Eh? That's correct. <laughs> uh, now your brother. Uh, go meet a fast rock. Tell her this is the way they talk. Go meet him for there. Okay, now they get problem. Okay, now true. They get problem. They don't align. That's true. Opposite, they are of the same party. Now they follow from the party, but they don't align. Wow, that's they are enemies. Two parallels that can never meet. Okay, is that why you're kicking against his government? Okay, if 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 it was that both of you, they align. This is what you're talking about. You know what you're talking about. Yes, now you know what you're talking about. You know what you're talking about. I know. Rafa, meet you poor no dear. We know who you are. I'm a young one. Like what? Well, yeah, I can see what you're doing there. Yeah. <laughs> As if you are concerned. You are not concerned anything. You know they talk about me, they say, hey, 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 this one is on the right, on the part of, on the part, um, uh, uh, yes, on the side of the masses. You are not on anybody's side. Though. Now all of them are destroy this country. Yes, that's correct. So swallow your voice. Day or day. Make we day our day. Now wait until I make I tell you now. No, it has to make I tell you, not be honest. You, 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 you. If you have any word for Ralph and Rabashola, drop it in the conversation. Let us talk to him in the conversation. I will see you later. For over a decade, this has been the birthplace of innovation. Innocent Vehicles is a testament to resilience, employing international best practices to create more than just a car. Every vehicle here tells a story of durability, fuel economy and safety. Crafted with the African spirit, the Nigerian heart. These vehicles surrounding me embody the unique concept of regionalization, each one designed to cater to the tastes and preferences of our people. From the streets in Nigeria to the terrains of the Sahara, these vehicles are designed for our roads, for our people. This is more than a vehicle. 
It's a symbol of our progress, our resilience, our collective success story. Your feedback drives us to continuously innovate and improve. Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads.